Baofeng UV9R TP, UV9R Plus, UV9R Plus, different versions, different this, th different that. You know, there's a, there's, I did a video about one of these a while back, and I got a lot of different comments about different versions because Baofeng and Oshang and several of these other companies will release radios with the same model number on them, but they're different. They're not always the same. So let's talk about a few of those today. Shut up and sit down. Welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. If this is your first time to join us here, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you enjoy this episode. So a while back, uh, sometime last month, I think it was, I did a video that I'll put right here about an 18-watt model of Baofeng, Baofeng, I'm going to try to say it correctly, Baofeng UV9RTP. It was advertised to be 18 watts, and the eBay link I shared in the description of the video Several people came by and commented on it and saying, hey, I go to that link and it shows to be a five watt radio. Well, that's because <laughs> that's because they changed it on eBay. OK, so I have a screenshot of when I bought it on eBay and it's advertised as 18 watts. Not only that, but it's advertised as 18 watts beneath the battery, which I showed in that video. So since then, over the course of time, I, I tend to pick up radios here and there that I think, hey, that's um." That's gonna. That would make for a good video. This would be interesting to see. I'd like to te do a power test on this model, et cetera, et cetera. In fact, at the time of this recording right now, that 18 watt UV9RTP video that I put up has over 10,000 views on it. So people are wanting to see that type of video. So I thought I would do another one today because I have other models of basically this same radio. I picked these up. I don't even remember exactly where they were. This one right here that says UV9RTP, this is the one that I did the video on before. Okay, this is a UV9R Plus, and this is a different version of the UV9R Plus. You can see that they basically all look the same from the front, something I noticed but didn't comment on on the last video. They're all stamped digital mobile radio right here. It's kind of stamped into the face, into the plastic of the radio, digital mobile radio, but it's not actually a DMR radio. So obviously they use this casing that's around this UV9R for various models. This is the one, they're all, they all look the same from the back. They all have the, the button that can be the button belt clip right there. This one here, this one that's, that's labeled as UV9R Plus, this one in the middle, this is the one that I, this one's labeled a UV9R TP. This one's another UV9R Plus, but it's a different model. This one actually says five watts on the back. We're going to look at that here in a second. This guy right here, the eBay link and the actual purchase link where I purchased this on eBay says that it's a, a, a UV9R TP. Now, what is the difference between UV9R TP and a UV9R Plus? I have no idea. I really don't. The UV9R TP is advertised to come with a 95 milliamp hour battery. And something I didn't point out last time either, this is only an 8,800 mil, or I'm, I'm sorry, 8,000 8, milliamp hour battery right there. 8,000 mil, milliamp hour battery. So it didn't even come with the battery that it was advertised. You can see right here, this is the one that says uh, less than or greater to uh, 18 watts, which, which we commented on on the last time. And it has a dual band frequency range and made in China, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously no uh, FCC number at the time of this recording, at least. This guy here is the UV9R TP. I think I got this from another eBay ad, I believe. I don't remember exactly. Some of these, I'll, I'll find them and I'll buy them and I'll put them on the shelf and then I'll think about them like a month later and then, then I'll record a video on them. So again, this is the one we did last time, UV9R Plus. This is also a UV9R Plus. This is a different version. This one I'd got from Amazon, I know. This one I think I got from eBay. So this guy right here actually has the 9,500 milliamp hour battery, and the battery says UV9RTP on it. So I suspect that whoever sold this version to me on, on eBay either had the wrong version in the ad or sent me the wrong radio or something. I don't care. Uh, it worked great for the purposes of a video, and that's why I, I recorded – that's why I bought it. I bought it to do a video. I did not buy it to use it and carry it on a daily basis. 
this one right okay so this one right here is the 9tp the actual 9tp 95 milliamp hour battery and as far as i can tell that's the only difference however this one's listed as 20 watts uv 9 rtp and it's listed as only a 440 radio it says frequency 400 to 470 megahertz so i i am going to put this on the power meter here in a bit and see what this does because the one i bought on ebay that was advertised at 18 watts is this one with the 9,500 milliamp hour battery. But this one has the actual RTP battery and it says 20 watts on the back. So you can see how things get mi mixed up. Uh, they, don't, they don't put the same numbers on things. They don't put the same power ratings on things. You can buy the exact same radio and it can be even a different frequency range. I've seen that before. TYT is bad about this. TYT has a TH9000 monoband radio, which is a decent radio for what it is. I use the 220 version, but the, the problem is that the TH9000 looks the same, acts the same, same packaging, everything, and it comes in a two-meter version. Two, they're all monoband. Two-meter version, 220 version, and 440 version, and they're all model number TH9000. It's not like 9002 for two meters and... 9,220 for 220 or anything like that. They're all just TH9000, and they have three different bands, three different mono bands. And you can't tell what it is unless you look at the sticker on the bottom right corner of the box or just open up the radio and look at the sticker on the back of it. That's a TH9000. But that's just kind of a – some of the Chinese companies, they recycle model numbers, but they don't change – they change something on the radio or some feature on the radio or some frequency range on the radio – but they use the same model number. So it's hard to tell what's what. So this guy right here, this is the 20 watt version. And it actually came with the correct battery for the RTP, but the RTP was advertised to me as being 18 watts, not 20 watts. So there's a discrepancy there. This last one over here, and this is the one that's probably the most accurate one, quite frankly. This one here comes with a 2200 milliamp hour battery, which you can see right there. Okay. And quite frankly, these batteries are not very... I would be, I don't have, yeah, see, this one's supposed to be 8,000, and this one's supposed to be 2,000, or 2,200. They're the same thickness. I don't have in front of me right now a way to test amp hour ratings on a battery, so it would, it would not surprise me that these batteries are not actually rated correctly. This one here is what's called a mirror kit edition, if I'm saying that right, mirror kit. This is a seller on Amazon. They, they have a, an Amazon store. I will link to this here shortly where you can see it. And, of course, it's dual band, but it's advertised as 8 watts. So this one's probably a little bit more accurate. These mirror kit ones, they seem to be a little bit more put together, a little bit better information on a lot of them. And I've had, I've, I've not really messed with any of them, but if you read through the Amazon reviews, they've got a lot of good positive Amazon reviews on the mirror kit edition. So let's put these on a power meter and see what they're going to do. Guys, if you're finding value in this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. It does help with the YouTube algorithm, and it lets YouTube know that you like the video, and it puts it in front of other people who want to see the same type of videos. Let's get back to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the RTP model that's listed as 20 watts, which is the one I just showed you with the white label on the back. It actually has the 95 milliamp hour, 95 milliamp hour battery label, at least. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to plug it into the meter and read it. The battery does show on full power. Someone made a comment on the last video about what power rating was your battery at, which is a good question. That's a good quest question. This one does show at full power. I had it on the charger a couple hours ago before I started the video. So it should be pretty close to full power. And I've got it on 146.520. So this one that's listed as 20 watts does have three power settings. That's good. that's good to know. Low, mid, and high, kind of common. All right. So here's two meters. I'm sorry. I wish I could show you the radio at the same time, but there's not a. There you go. So there's the two meter uh, 146.52 on the top, 441.0 on the bottom. Here's what we're going to do for that. This is high power. It's on the 20 watt scale you see in the middle there, and it's reading like four watts maybe just under four watts. 20 watt scale right here. Four watts on two meters. 
Now we're going to go to 441.0, which you can see the arrow on the bottom there. Uh, two and a half. Just under, just under three watts there. So that is the 20 watt version of this radio. Not surprising considering the results we got from the lab. This one's also got a very tight no, uh, volume knob up here. It was hard to turn on. Frequency mode. And it was hard to, it's kind of, it's got a, it doesn't, it's not as easy to turn as the other. The other two are fine, but but that one for some reason's got a messed up knob, or it seems like it does. Now this one is the mirror kit model that I mentioned earlier, with the uh, with the kind of purple and yellow. I'm sorry, purple and white label on the back. That's actually rated at eight watts. Neither one of the other two that we've power tested, the one from the last video or the one from today, have reached eight watts yet. So we're gonna see what this one does. 8 watts is probably a lot more realistic of a power rating than 18 or 20 watts on these specific models. Here's this one, 146.52 on the top, 441.0 on the bottom. Just over 4 watts on high power. And again, here you can see the, uh, the battery on the top right corner. shows full power is it a hundred percent full no but it shouldn't drop down from eight to four watts if it if it only is like it at 90 percent 90 or 95 percent power shouldn't make that big of a difference if it's going to do eight watts it needs to do eight watts if it's 50 percent battery or better in my opinion but you know that that can kind of vary as well so we're getting four watts well almost five watts Almost five watts, four and a half watts right there. It's the bottom scale. This bottom scale right here with the five in the middle. Almost five watts. Now, 440. No, about the same. Actually, that looks like it's peaking right at five watts. Okay. So the Meerkit model. Again, that that is an Amazon store. Meerkit's an Amazon store. They sell Baofeng, but other radios as well. And at least it's uh, closer. I mean, it's rated at 8 watts, or it's, well, it's stamped at 8 watts. And it's only pushing about 5. You know, a 5-watt HT is still good. At the time of this recording, I'm looking at this mirror kit on Amazon, and they're selling a 2-pack for about $123, so they're like 60 bucks a pop. That's still probably more than I would really want to pay for a 5-watt HT. I found... These I was going through making plans for what videos I'm going to record this week, and I found a couple more models of these, and I'm like, oh, yeah, so that video, being that I already put up the uh, RTP video and do some of the comments I got on that, I thought I would put this up and just do some testing on the various different models between the UV9Rs and see what we find. Let me know what you think below. Let me know if you use this radio. If you want to see the water test, put a comment below, 73, and we will catch you next time.